you know, when you see the mass shootings that happen, majority of those people are white males. What do you what do you think about a- that? Actually, if you look at the percentage of, of whites in America, which is 60 percent, the percentage of mass shooters is under that. The percentage of people that commit hate crime is under that. The percentage of people who are serial killers is under that. Black people are 13 percent of the population. We commit a greater percentage compared to that no, of you mass shootings. We talked about the smash and grabs, though. So I was saying, since you're using that as an example, I'm saying, well, what about you know the mass shooters that are usually one, white males. One, one, one more time, they are, they are usually white males because 60% of the country is, is, is white. However, they underrepresent in terms of the number of mass shootings. Uh, about 50% or so of the mass shootings in this country are committed by white people, even though white people are 60% of the population. They underrepresent. We overrepresent when it comes to hate crime, when it comes to mass shootings, when it comes to serial killings, when it comes to robberies, when it comes to virtually every category of violent crime. We overrepresent. So, what do white people do wrong? I don't know if Charlemagne is either just playing stupid or is stupid. I'm sorry to put it like that, but it's just simple mathematics. Let's give an example. If there is a country where there's a majority of Asians, of course, you're going to see more than likely a majority of the crimes or mass shootings, for this example, being Asian people because the country is mostly Asian. Similarly, if a country has more white people, majority of the mass shootings more than likely are going to be white people. It's simple math. And I don't know, as I keep saying, whether Charlemagne is just stupid or is plain stupid. And I think it's the former. He's probably just stupid. I'm going to keep asking you that. Cause I want to, well, like, you, well you, do, it, do, seem, it, seem, it, seems, it seems to me, rather than deal with, with what's going on, the pathology that's going on in the inner city, mm-hmm. you want to blame, you want me to talk about how bad white people are, no, which, I don't, which, a, I don't pre- which, which, I, which I don't think is a pretty, pre- particularly productive thing to do. Well, I think, I'm, no, I'm no, talking, no, I th- I'm think talking, there's a cause and effect, but you know, if we can't talk about the cause, which I believe is systemic racism and white supremacy, the FBI says... The well, I just told you, if it's systemic racism, please explain to me how it was when Americans... America really had systemic racism in 1940. 87% mm-hmm. of blacks lived under the poverty line. Again, this is during uh, Jim Crow era. My father is from Athens, Georgia, grew up in Jim Crow. My mom is from Huntsville, Alabama, grew up in Jim Crow. 87% of blacks lived below the poverty line. This is before Brown versus the Board of Education. Probably you did, you did no not choice. find you did not find these kind of black on black crime. Probably because we had no But they still were living the, below the poverty line, though, sir. I'm sorry. You're forgetting the fact that they they were still living below the poverty line. You're picking and choosing, saying this was good, but this was bad. Okay. The bottom line, they end between the poverty line. But let's move forward. Well, on well let me. Can, can I just let me? Can I just address that? In 1940, 87% sure. of blacks lived under the poverty line. 1960, mm-hmm. that number had fallen to 47%. That's a 40-point drop in 20 years. That's the greatest 20-year period of economic expansion for black people in the history of America. Again, well before Brown versus Board of Education, well before the KKK uh, uh, imploded, uh, well before we had race-based preferences. Why? Because it was rare for a black kid to be raised in a, in a family without a father in the home, uh, a strong belief in Judeo-Christian values, a belief in patriotism, even as America wasn't applying these values to black people, obviously, uh, and a belief in entrepreneurship. All those things are now under assault by organizations like Black Lives Matter. Charlemagne, Black Lives Matter had on their website an attack on the nuclear family. Uh, the founders are self-described Marxists, trained Marxists. Marx wanted to dethrone God, was an atheist, and Marx did not believe in capitalism, uh, let alone entrepreneurship. All the things that made black people still survive in virulent racism are now under attack by organizations like Black Lives Matter. All of those things have always... I'll continue to say this in all my videos. These people want to complain and continue to be complaining as if they're victims while Charlemagne is getting thousands, if not it has millions with this breakfast club that he has. But they always want to complain and be a victim and the white man is suppressing us and we're all oppressed and everyone's oppressed and black people are oppressed and we're all oppressed and they want to continue to sell that to us without actually looking at the solutions. What are the solutions other than the ghost of the white supremacist that they keep wanting to complain about? They don't want to really solve the issue. They, they just want to continue to complain and to feed everyone else below them oppression so that they'll continue to buy into their ideology. That's all it is. They don't really want to solve the problem. They just want to complain and complain and complain. We've been under attack by white supremacy. You can go back to things like whether it's the Tulsa race massacres, like every time black people do create these systems that are our systems and we are the entrepreneurs, it seems like white supremacy every, finds a way to destroy every, every, it. Every time, look, the Tulsa massacre, within about five years, that whole area was rebuilt. Uh, it was not even called the uh, the Black Wall Street until after it was rebuilt. It was rebuilt, by the way, by black people without one dime of government money. Yeah, but who I, I destroyed will... it to begin with? 
it was right wh- racists who destroyed it. No question okay, about it. Sure we've had we've had race riots. But so so if Japanese, so, what, so, hold, 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 so hold, you do agree hold, that there's racism? I'm just so confused. You know, I, I never even came close a to say. I never came. Ago, I never came close. I never, I never came close to saying there was no racism. You just said you don't think it's systemic racism. Not anymore. Obviously, there was. We had something called slavery. We had something called Jim Crow. That was a system that destroyed black. It was, hold on, sir. That was I'm a sorry? system that destroyed. That was the system that destroyed Black Wall Street. It's the same system right now that's not even wanting to pay those same living descendants. Because I know your position on reparations, but those same living descendants of Black Wall Street. Okay. And then you move, and then you go on to say that this the system, the quote unquote system, is also trying to destroy President Trump. So I'm just so confused on: Do you believe that the system can destroy or not? You you pick and choose, sir, and that's what's so confusing to me. You just said it wasn't racism. Now it is racism. When I- when it was time I said. To, to I said. Build it back, I said it wasn't. There was no racism. I'm I said so it wasn't confused. systemic racism. Let's talk about. Uh, so what, uh, are you, you, it's simple. They're just not listening. He never said it. Well, there was no racism. He said right now there's no systematic racism. It's not very hard to listen if you really are listening, but they're not listening, and they're clearly showing that. Are you just when, can, I, can, can, I, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I just make what this is, make this point, yeah, Charlemagne? Please. Uh, let's take Chinese Americans. Uh, Chinese Americans were the first ethnic group to be excluded with an immigration act in the late 1800s. Uh, they had riots against Chinese uh, in L.A., in San Francisco. There were laws that prevented Chinese Americans from participating in the laundry business. Uh, I'm in California. California, of course, rounded up Japanese Americans during World War II. There were laws that prevented Japanese uh, Americans from owning farmland. The average Japanese American household has a higher per capita income than the average white household. The average Chinese American household has a higher per capita income than the average white household. How does that happen? It happens because of a strong belief in family. It is rare for a Chinese American or a Japanese American kid to have uh, to have a child outside of wedlock, and a strong belief in education, and a strong belief in entrepreneurship. These are the kinds of qualities that make people you successful. Can't, you can't blame everything. And that's one thing I saw as well when I was looking up some stats and studies. But I saw in both the UK and in America, Asians specifically do better than white people. But how come they never talk about Asian supremacy? It's always white supremacy and the white man and the white man has all the power. Yet Asians do better than both white people and black people. They really don't care about the truth. Because if the truth is in your face that even Asians do better than white people, why aren't they saying there's Asian supremacy? And as I said, they don't care about the truth. They don't want to know the truth. And they hate the truth. That's all it is. On, on having a fatherless family, right? Because I didn't say blaming everything. I know, but, but that's what you're saying. You're saying a strong community. But no, you, you said that's what I just community. said. I didn't but say you that. You talk about the Asian community. Asian community is easy for them to get loans for entrepreneurships. It's easy, easy for them to get loans for houses. You look at our community. Okay. If you really, if you really want to talk about our community, right? You look at the schools in our community. Some of our schools are the worst, right? Would they, you agree they, with that? They, yes they, or no? Absolutely. Which right? is why, which is why, Wi-Fi, which is, which is why, which is why one, of the, one of the reasons I'm running for president is for school choice. Also, would you say that it's in our community is systemic? It's also in our communities. Heavy food deserts. There's nothing but fast food places that are just killing and destroying that. Would you say that's, that's true? Too. It's so sad, and I, I really despise this type of mindset. They really don't want to address the root cause of the issues. They don't want to address the fatherless homes. They don't want to address that. They don't want to address the type of music they listen to. They don't want to address the influence that the, um, the black community has. They don't want to address any of that. They just want to continue to complain about, as I said, the ghost of white supremacy. That's what they want to complain about. They don't want to complain about the things that they can't control. They want to complain about the things that they seemingly can't control or the things that are not even there. That's what they want to complain about. And it's very sad that these people have all the influence and all the money in the world, but they still want to continue to sell you your oppression. That's all it is. And it is absolutely disgusting and sad. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible. Comment down below. I want to see people comment down below what they think of this video. So comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I ain't got that guy. And I am out.